Hey y'all! So today I'm going to be bringing you my September favorites. This month has been a really good one for me. It's almost fall and technically last Sunday it really was fall. So I'm just really excited about fall. It's my favorite time of the year. I love the fashion. I love pumpkin. I love Thanksgiving, Halloween, all that good stuff. So I'm just really excited that fall is upon us. So I have a few things that I want to share with y'all that I have been loving for this month, so let's just get right into um, it. I'm going to go in no particular order, but I'm just going to get out. I think I have two things that are really not beauty related, so I guess I'll just do those first. But the first thing is the Bath & Body Works Creamy Pumpkin Soap, and the scent in general is amazing. It is just, smells like pumpkin and vanilla. Um, let's see what it says on the back here. Honey, coconut milk, and olive fruit extracts. So it doesn't have vanilla in it, but it smells like it has vanilla in it. But it just smells so good, and I love this for washing my hands. The next thing is the Pumpkin Apple Candle by Bath & Body Works. And this smells like pumpkin and candle. It says, experience the blend of your two favorite fall scents, apple and pumpkin, enhanced by notes of cinnamon and clove. And I can definitely smell the cinnamon in this, and it is amazing. And I'm basically done with this one because the little um, wick in it is like into the candle wax, so I won't burn anymore. But this one is a really good one, and I just um, started burning pumpkin cupcakes. So that one is probably going to be a favorite of mine. The next well. thing is this nail polish. This is by OPI, and this is in the color You Don't Know Jacques. And it's just like in the bottle, it looks like a brown color. But when you open it and wear it, you probably can't see this, but it's like a muted purpley gray. And it's got purple undertones, which just makes it really pretty for fall. And I had this on before I painted my nails red, but I really love this. And I'm really going to get a lot of use out of this, so I'm really excited about that. The next thing is a perfume. And this is the Turquatic Perfume by MAC. And I usually, I didn't really know that they had perfumes, but I was at the counter, oh, a little while ago. And I smelt it. And I just love it. I don't know. It smells like something else that I have had before or smelt before. But it's like a musky scent. I'm terrible at scent, so I have no idea what to say about this perfume. But it's like not sweet at all. It doesn't smell like anything. It kind of smells like a florally musky scent. But it smells so good. So I've used quite a bit of this bad boy and you don't need a lot for it to show up and linger all day long. So I love this perfume and I was just in the mall the other day and they still had it. So it's still available at the mat counter. So that's good. Okay, the next things are makeup and of course that's my favorite area. So I have five things to talk about in the makeup area. The first thing I'm going to talk about is the Milani ma um, mascara, Milani lipstick, and this is in Plum Rose. And by the looks of it, it don't really look that dark, but when you wear it, it's like a beautiful burgundy mauve color and it's so pretty. I wore it last week to church and we went to, an, uh, to a bridal expo with one of my friends and I wore it then and I had a leopard top on and I just thought it complemented my outfit so well and I just wore a very neutral eye and this color looked amazing with my makeup so I'm in love with this and it smells so good. It smells like watermelon Jolly Ranchers so I could probably eat it but I don't advise that, but it's just a really pretty color and it stayed on. It didn't get all yucky on my lips. Really, really good lipstick. So I'm going to love this for fall because I love a dark lip for fall and winter. The next thing is, I don't think I've ever mentioned this in a favorites video, but I just got it. Um, I think it like the beginning of August, maybe something like that but it is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Waterproof Eyeliner in the color black and I have used this thing so much you probably can't tell but I have used it so much and it is my absolute favorite liner now 
you can wear it all day long and it does not smudge and it does not wear off it's black as black can be like all day long so that is one thing that I love because I wear it to school and I don't have to oops I just got lipstick everywhere on me but I love it because I can wear it to school all day and not have to worry about it coming off or like rubbing on my eyelid because sometimes eyeliner will do that and I don't it's not really a pretty look for anybody but this is really really good and it comes with a brush if I can find it it comes with this brush and I've been using the brush that comes with it and I love it I, I really like it so that there was a fuzz <laughs> floating in the air but I really like this brush that comes with it I haven't used the rounded end but I do like the pointy eyeliner end the next thing is my Benefit What's Up. And I was kind of scared about this because when you roll it up, it's like, I'll swatch it. It's very pigmented and you can't just rub it on your face because that is it not look good at all. You have to be very sparingly with this, but once you rub it into your skin, it's the most gorgeous champagne, like, um champagne -y color it's like a golden shimmer it's not really silver but this is so gorgeous on your cheekbones it's my favorite highlighter ever i don't know if you can see it on my hand but every time i wear this i feel like people tell me that my makeup looks really pretty and i think that it's just because of this highlighter it like just brings your whole look together it's so pretty i love it and it stays on all day long and you can wear it like I just usually put it on like right here and then I might run a little bit down the bridge of my nose and on my cupid's bow but it's so pretty and I get compliments on it all the time so definitely a must-have in my book another product by benefit that I have recently fallen in love with is the benefit benetint and I got this as a little sample and I always wanted to try it but I was kind of scared because it is a little intimidating this liquid red stuff that you put on your face like that's I was scared of it at first but all you have to do is just dab a little bit on your it comes with a little brush like so and you just dab like two three or four dots on your cheek and you just rub it in and it is the most beautiful natural rosy color that you could ever imagine and it just looks so pretty and it stays on all day long and you can also use it on your lips and I haven't really used it on my lips a lot but I do think that it would look really pretty as a lip stain so I love this and I'm going to buy the full size um, tint when I run out of this because I love it so much my last favorite is probably no shock to anybody that watches my videos but it is the Lorac Pro palette and I know I use this in almost every makeup thing that I do Oh my gosh, I just rent it. You're not going to believe what I just did. <laughs> I didn't want to cry. <sighs> Hold on. Okay, so as I was opening my Lorac palette, I decided it would be a good idea to stick two of my fingernails in the eyeshadows. So I just rent light pink and I kind of smushed light bronze back into its little hole, but... I wrote light pink. I don't really use that, so I guess that's a good thing. But now I feel like I have eyeshadow in my fingernails. But as I was saying, this is my favorite palette. I love it more than my Naked 2 palette. I don't have the Naked palette, but this is just so versatile. I love it. My favorite shade would have to be the Nude shade and the Taupe shade. I think taupe, sable, nude, and pewter are probably my favorites, but you can do absolutely any makeup look you want with this palette. It is so beautiful. The shadows are so pigmented. I cannot even express to you how pigmented they are. Like, let me just show you. Gold. Look at that. That is just, it's just so soft and creamy. And they swatch beautifully. Look how beautiful that is. I cannot get over this palette. It is my absolute favorite. So, yes. I love this palette. I'm really sad that I almost just 
my favorite shades in the whole wide world, but it's okay. But yes, love it. You have to have it. It's $42, Sephora, Ulta, all that good stuff. So yes, that is all of my favorites for the month of September, and I keep rubbing myself in my lipstick. This video has just been a disaster. But those are my favorite products for the month of September. I hope that you enjoyed, and if you would like, you can leave below in the comments what your favorite products are, because I love learning about new products that people are loving, because I always just... Who doesn't feel the urge to go buy new makeup? So yeah, that is all for today. I hope that you enjoyed it, and I'll talk to everybody soon. Bye!